Hello again, this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio with a 14 by 14 inch canvas and a reworking of something I did a long time ago, probably it might have been in my first year, it might have been my second year. In any case, it's going to be a sun, sunburst. And I'm going to use some mead and black, which I didn't have back then. I'm going to use a whole lot of things I didn't have back then. Like, including the Chantilly Lace. I'm a color art affiliate, which means I'm using mostly prism pores and primary elements. want a black ring around the outside edge and I may move it in a little bit. And I think for that I'm going to add a little bit more. I probably have more than I need already. So let me grab my small OXO. Well if I had my small one I do just have to get the water off it. Now what this means is I may have to black the edges afterwards because I didn't first. I could have blacked the edges first and I would recommend it. And I've got a little map over here of what I wrote down from when I watched the video again myself. It's probably, if you search my community board by going to my channel, you will find tomorrow's video, yesterday's video, and occasionally things that are favorites of mine. And I think the first time I did this, yes I just dragged my fingers through there. First thing I did this I have no idea <laughs> what I was going to say. But I do have paint on the edge of my spatula or on my spatula. And I'm going to wipe off on that curve on the edge of the canvas so that it goes over. Now there is a substantial amount of paint there. It's not huge overabundance, but it's not insignificant. And it might make a difference in how this works out. I did actually measure into the center this time, which is unusual for me. Yeah, I'm fussing now. I need to stop fussing. I'm going to knock off the rest of that paint. Throw my spatula in the bucket. Yeah, right. Like, I can do that. I'm just going to quickly take, take whatever's on the blade of my spatula and cover as much of the edge as I can because I'm like that. And there seems to be more than enough paint to do so. And I've done three, and I've done three pretty quickly, I hope. So you're still here. <laughs> I'm going to be using a basting brush. One little troublesome corner, and the rest are done, with the exception of that right there. All right, now it's time to pay attention. To the next layer is gold, and I want to do a whole bunch of gold. I'm going to split the difference, because that's supposed to be gold here, and then pearl there. So I'm going to start <coughs> with my bling it. I'm going to cover that fingerprint first. It's a golden maple bling it. And I think by the time I'm done it's not going to make any difference. That's um, a primary element. This is a prism pour. This is Indian Spice. And I'm going to go around twice. I've got Mayan gold, although you know, 
I've got this really cool orange peel with um, with gold shimmer in it, and I think I want to use it around the inside. Edge right here. And it's not impossible. I might spatula this into place so I don't leave any gaps. <coughs> this is my Mayan gold. So I have a fairly cool gradient. Now did I pay attention? Yes, that is supposed to be gold. Let me grab a Princeton Art Tool Cattle spatula. I don't know where to wipe that off. I'm going to wipe it off right there. This is definitely not the way I did it the first time. But that's okay, change is good. I've got some extra paint. I think I'm going to go in again and change it up. Back again with the Indian Spice. time around with the spatula. Not as easy without a turntable for sure. I keep knocking into that black paint. All right so I have a little bit of extra and next Next I have pearl and I'm going to forget for that I'm going to use Chantilly lace. Part of me feels like spinning it out to see if it will spread. I hope measuring made a difference. I have a much thinner. The first Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula that I used, the spatula was a number one. And now I have a number two. I had a blue chalk line. I hope it does not decide to join us. See, there's a copious amount of paint over here. And I definitely see that chalk line and I hope it doesn't stay. I think it'll be fine in a minute. Once I get my black in there. <coughs> I need a black line. I'm nervous. It's important at this point that the circle be a circle. And I usually stop short of my mark because I want them to be able to meet without an excess right there. Now what I would usually do at this point is put a gold ring in there, but I think I'm going to wait until after. I need a rag, at least, to be handy, to wipe everything off. This is my basting brush. 
If there were four rows there, I've removed three of them. If there were five, I removed four, whatever. I've left one row left and taken away every other tine in between. And I'm thinking I will fill the center in, but not until I've figured out what the basting brush is going to do exactly. I didn't really get as much black around the outside edge this time as I did the first time. I'm going to split the difference. More black in the particular ring I'm working with would probably have worked out better on the edges, but we're so far so good. Now what do I see here? I see I have an edge. I want nothing on that spatula. don't want any gaps. I actually like this right like it is. I see one more gap. And a couple more gaps still. Let's wipe that off. I'm quiet, I'm focused. All right, now we can move along. I am wiping off in between every stroke. They seem to be fairly even so far. I'm thinking about putting a gold ring around the inside of the black and then maybe more white pearl. <clears throat> right after I make sure black is as circular as I can make it. It's not perfect. I can't seem to make perfect circles. I don't know too many people who can. I heard Leonardo da Vinci could though. It might have been Mike, Michelangelo I'm thinking about. I used to visit, my dad used to tell me a story about them visiting, him visiting someone's house and they would know he'd been there because he would draw a perfect circle on the door. Don't ask me where I knew that from. All right, so now I have to decide what color and I kind of think that it's gonna stick with I'm going to stick with, yeah, the Indian Spice. Normally I would swivel this around. I am trying to have the most even amount
possible. Wipe off my... I'm going to throw that rag in the bucket because it wasn't as wet as I was expecting it to be, but the one underneath it is. So I'm just going to join those up like I did. As long as they don't dendrite, they should be fine. Grab my Chantilly lace. I think the first time I did this I used Deco Art Americana 24 karat gold. I've got three minutes to tell you guys. I have 28 lists of 100 videos and also they are organized by topic and genre. And if you're interested in finding them, go to my channel and look for playlists, all playlists, created playlists. And if you don't feel like doing that, I forgot the silver. Maybe I should add the silver. You can always ask me because I have them saved. All the links are saved. That is true silver. It is a prism pour. You guys inspire the heck out of me. I dedicate this particular artwork to Carrie, who said she'd really like to see it again. I know it doesn't really look like anything like the original, but that's okay. I am going to spin, but I'm going to be careful and make sure that it's in the center this time, just to see if I can spread that centerpiece out, and I can't. So I'm going to wing it and just stick my number two in there and hope that I can do something to make the paint flatten out. When you use Floetrol, and I don't in prism pores and primary elements, it helps flatten the paint out, but it also dulls the shine. And the shimmer goes sort of sideways. Well, that is mostly that. Love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Can't exactly turn that timer off, and there's only one minute left anyway. Check my link tree for my website. Check my the gallerist and my Society Six for new new stuff. I don't know if this is the most spectacular gold sunburst I've done. I feel like going back in and swiping through again and I might do that and this time just leave the black or whatever yeah I like it better with the double row and I'm glad I did it quickly I'll see you guys anon if you'd like to join with other members, it's $9.99 a month, and you get access to a library of members-only videos that's over 60 strong. I love you guys.